With Forest looking to forget that European Cup disaster in midweek, United are determined to get on to a consistent winning run. The pictures come from ATV. Let's check on the two teams. First of all, Nottingham Forest. It's the one that finished the game against CSK of Sofia in the European Cup on Wednesday. It means that Larry Lloyd retains his place in defence in place of Kenny Burns, who's likely to be out for a couple of weeks yet with injury. As for Manchester United, Martin Bucken and Gordon McQueen are out, with Moran and Jovanovic replacing them. And Joe Jordan plays his first league game of the season for United. Now it's time for Hugh Johns as we join the game in the first half. Thomas looking for Jordan and he got there. Joe Jordan so desperately close to opening his account this season then. That was a beautifully flighted ball into him. And he escaped his marker, a punched header, only just beat the left-hand post. Lloyd punching that one up, O'Neill, and here's Battles. Must get the shot in, but wide, falling backwards, off balance. Snapped half chance, Bailey came to him, perhaps put him off, but he couldn't turn that ball in between the posts. Giving a touch off left side to Gray. Good, Wallace. Yes. 1-0. Forrest. Here, Wallace. 31 minutes gone. His fourth goal since he came here from Coventry. And Robertson, the man who fed this ball off to Gray. And uh, Wallace positioning himself perfectly for the cross ball, which was delivered accurately. The downward header, the goalkeeper's got no chance. A better idea. Makari rolls that down to Alveston. Jordan. Aiming for Koppel. Touch for Thomas. Looks useful. That's the goal from Makari, 1-1. One, one. So simple, so perfectly executed. Another simple thing is delightful to watch. 43 minutes gone. United fans, travelling fans from the Stretford end, rejoice as Lou Macari scores his third goal of the season. 1 1 the scoreline. So beautifully worked. Koppel nipping it off to Thomas, waited a second, slots it across the face of the goal, and there's the Macari on the end of it. Gray down, Mills gets there first, did well. Powerful youngster this. Ball into Bertels. Bertels made that space for himself. There was a worried, anxious look on Moran's face, a look of disgust on Gary Bertels' face. He felt he ought to have put that one in. Now Thomas. Mills heads out, as far as Duxbury. Thomas again. And Koppel's getting there. And Koppel has scored. Two big defenders in a tangle, Lloyd and Needham. And Koppel sliced between them. 2-1, Manchester United. 28 minutes of the second half. It's Mickey Thomas who delivers the ball into the box. Thomas' his ball into the box, and there's Koppel, as nice as you like, into the corner past Shilton. Jovanovic gets it down and out. O'Neill for Mills. Nickel comes to him fast. Skates away from one. Good cross in. And beneath him. Off the line by Thomas. No, it wasn't. It was Augustin. And it just wide again. Unbelievable. Grandstand finish was wanted. And the panic created by Gary Mills here with his ball in. Unbelievable. Needham sets himself, picks his spot. Bookfeeber beaten, Alberston off the line. Stays up there. Another try. A flick on then. 
and still the ball won't go in the net. Robertson, O'Neill, forcing his way past Nickel, keeps on going. Gary Mills coming in, drives it. Great try by Mills, superb save by Bailey, and that's the end of it. Forrest beaten at home, only the second time in the first division. The match winner, Steve Koppel. A bad week for Forrest then, with three defeats.